What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Alex and today we are checking out the Shawshank Redemption. Don't believe the lies to see. I can be more than a Guys, so this is another one of those movies, just like Saving Private Ryan, where I have been literally mortified to admit that I have not seen it. But if I haven't seen it and I gotta check it out for the first time, it makes no sense. Wait, what? The only thing that makes sense about this situation is if I make a reaction to it, and this is frankly what y'all voted in on Patreon. So guys, if you want access to the full length movie reactions or the polls for the next non-Marvel movie we should check out, link to our Patreon will be at the top of the description. And I fucking love Morgan Freeman. I'm God. When I tell people I haven't seen this, it sucks because people like me less the second I say that I haven't seen Shawshank Redemption. So I don't know too much about Tim Robbins, to be honest. I know a lot about Morgan Freeman. Got the voice of a Greek god mixed with a velvet and silk blanket and cigars. Okay, let's go. I am honestly really, really stoked for this. So guys, I got some coffee here and I got Sour Patch Kids. Not the greatest combo, but a decent one, I guess. Anyway, let's go. Whenever a movie starts off with this, you know it's gonna be fucking badass. All right, let's go. Tim Robbins, what else is he in? The Shawshank Redemption. Oh my God, I'm excited, dude. All right, we'll check out his movies later. Oh shit. Oh God, that's not a good combination. It looks like he has to do something he doesn't want to do. Mr. Dufresne, describe the confrontation you had with your wife the night that she was murdered. It was very bitter. She said she was glad I knew that she hated all the sneaking around. She wanted a divorce. And she cheated on him? I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Those were the words you used, Mr. Dufresne, according to the testimony of your neighbors. I really don't remember. I was upset. What happened after you argued with your wife? Packed a bag to go and stay with Mr. Quinn. Golf pro at the Snowden Hills Country Club. The man you had recently discovered was your wife's lover. Oh, God. He's going to kill him, isn't he? Follow her. Went to a few bars first. Drove to his house to confront them. They weren't home. With what intention? To kill him. I'm not sure. Mm. Mostly I wanted to scare them. When they arrived, he went up to the house and murdered them. Wow. I got back in the car and I drove home to sleep it off. I threw my gun into the Royal River. Where I get hazy is where the cleaning woman finds your wife in bed with her lover riddled with 38 caliber bullets. Oh my God. Police dragged that river for three days and nary a gun was found. It's very convenient. Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a real good point. His composure in court is really impeccable, honestly. Especially in a damn murder trial, my god. Alright, so what actually happened? Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all the evidence. You know all the facts. The broken bourbon bottle, likewise with fingerprints. We have a beautiful young woman and her lover lying dead in each other's arms. A revolver holds six bullets, not eight. This was not a hot-blooded crime of passion. Mm. This was revenge. Four bullets per victim. Wow. Not six shots fired, but eight. He fired the gun empty and then stopped to reload. Wow. An extra bullet per lover. That's a good attorney, because I was about to mention the heat of passion killing. Strike me as a particularly I see and remorseless man, Mr. Dufresne. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Oh, shit. One for each of your victims. I was gonna mention the diminished capacity, not diminished capacity, uh, heat, heat of passion killing, where a lot of times you'll get a lesser sentence if you walk in and see your spouse cheating and you kill them because you were in the heat of passion. It doesn't show that premeditated murder. In this case, he's saying, hey, this was premeditated. This was revenge. This was him actually reloading it. It wasn't a heat of passion where he shot him once because he was in the heat of the moment. No, he was at the house. He had to reload his gun. <sighs> Man, what a shit show, dude. You see by your file you've served 20 years of a life sentence? Yes, sir. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Absolutely, sir. I can honestly say that I'm a changed man. What were you in for? <laughs> what? All right, well, back to the cell. I wonder what he did. He said he's not a danger to society. I wonder if he accused a murder as well or something. Wow, what a setup for a story. How'd it go? Same old shit, different day. I'm up for rejection next week. I'm up for rejection next week. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Wow. He's the guy to know in prison. That's for damn sure. So when Andrew Dufresne came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison. What? I told him, 
No problem. A woman? Rita Hayworth? Am I mistaking? Who would want to be smuggled into a prison? What? On the outside, he'd been vice president of a large Portland bank. Wow. You speak English, butt steak. Butt steak? I've never seen such a sorry looking heap of maggot shit in all my life. All these other prisoners just talking shit to him, or are they cheering? I feel like they're talking shit. They're like, yeah, y'all are fresh meat. Get ready to enter Shawshank, bitches. Maybe there's like a hazing period, I guess. Every time there's a new prisoner or something. Taking bets today, Red. Smoke's a coin. Bet us choice. Smoke. All right, who's your horse? That little sack of shit. Hey, the chubby fat ass there. <laughs> oh, God. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. Mm. Looked like a stiff breeze would blow him over. What do you say, Red? Tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. My boy's gonna get 40 cigarettes. Man, that's the threshold to cross. Imagine that. <sighs> Makes me so nervous, dude. I would be a terrible inmate and get passed around like a loose joint. Who's this guy? Mr. Hadley, he's captain of the guards. Okay. Mr. Norton, the warden, you are convicted felons. Yeah, no shit. When do we eat? Stupid ass question. When you're served, that's when you eat. Ah, uh, now dude's gonna get fucking beaten, right? You eat when we say you eat. Yep. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> oh! Okay, yep. I believe in two things. Discipline and the Bible. Okay. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. <laughs> Welcome to Shawshank. Such a weird sentence. Put your trust in the Lord, your ass belongs to me. What? What's the point of hosing them down? I don't get it. Delouse him. Delouse him? What are they doing? Okay. Right. Left. Looked like they were at Escobar's birthday party. The first night's the toughest. No doubt about it. That's when you know it's for real. Gosh. Most new fish come close to madness the first night. Somebody always breaks down crying. Oh, that's who, that's what they're betting on. All right. Lights up! That sucks so hard. Poke your ass out, give me a first look. What? The boys always go fishing with first timers and they don't quit till they reel someone in. Hey, fat ass, I'll introduce you around. I know a couple of big old bull queers that just- <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Big white mushy butt ears. <laughs> What? I don't belong here. We have a winner. <laughs> oh, oh, home. And it's fat ass by a nose. God, man. I want to go home. Yeah, no shit. Ev like everybody wants to stay over there for a sleepover. What the crisis is, happy horse shit. What is your malfunction, you fat barrel of monkey spunk? Ew. You don't understand. I'm not supposed to be here. Gosh, dude. What are they supposed to do? So yeah, you're right. All right, come on. You get to go home now. <laughs> Literally, their captions say, fat ass whimpering. <coughs> oh. I swear by God and sunny Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary. And they say, what? Prison's supposed to rehabilitate you. No rehabilitation, just pure punishment, man. Prison reform, I mean, we're not even gonna get started on that topic in today's day and age, but Jesus Christ, there needs to be something. And Dufresne cost me two packs of cigarettes. He never made a sound. Mm. Two sounds clear. Clear and three cell. I know that I've seen a lot of people in the military say that like whenever they get out of the military something that they miss a lot is like the structure of it, the the routine of it. I wonder if people get out of prison if they actually weirdly and sadistically miss the routine of prison. I know that there are people out there that feel more comfortable in prison than out in the real world, people that have spent the majority of their lives in there, but it seems bizarre to me. Ew, dude. Nasty ass food. The fuck is that? What is that? Oh! Are you going to eat that? You asking about his food or the maggot? Oh <gasps> no! That's nice and ripe. Ew! What the fuck? <gasps> oh shit! What the hell? Got a damn bird? Jake says thank you. Jake fell out of his nest over by the plate shop. Ah! I literally thought dude was about to eat it. Come on, set him down. I want all lined up. Yes. Smell my ass. <laughs> How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Dude, Adley busted his head up pretty good. No way. He died? Oh my god. What was his name? Doesn't fucking matter what his name was. He's dead. Okay. First words that come out of his mouth are concern for somebody else. It's like, it shows compassion, I think. Anybody coming to you yet? Slide off. We all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. 
Are you trying to touch my Willis or are you trying to be my friend? Hard to get. I would not last. I like that. I would, oh, gross. And he kept pretty much to himself at first. It wasn't until a month went by that he finally opened his mouth. Morgan Freeman's a lefty? I'm Andy Dufresne. Wife killing banker. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. You gonna fit right in. <laughs> hey, what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer fucked me. I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. What does he want? I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. I guess whatever keeps you busy, man. You got a hobby, find it. Tell him a rock hound. You imagine I'm like, hey, Red, you you have the hookup for a Canon 80D, a ring light, and a gaming computer? You need to make reactions. Shut the fuck up. Sisters have taken quite a liking to you. I don't suppose it would help any if I explained to them I'm not homosexual. Neither are they. What? Pull queer, stake by force. Grow eyes in the back of my head. Well, if there's any trouble, I won't use the rock hammer. And I'd guess you want to escape. Tunnel under the wall, maybe. <laughs> What's funny? You understand when you see the rock hammer. Sounds fair. All right. Name's Red. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. What? How does that make sense? I feel like in every prison there's somebody nicknamed Red. He had a quiet way about him. He strolled like a man in a park without a care or a worry in the world. Hmm. That's an interesting aura about him, dude. I want to take on qualities like that. I liked Andy from the start. Okay, all right. I've heard that everybody has their unique job in prison. The guy that's done my tattoos, this was his job in prison. Tattooing people. Red. Oh shit, is that where the rock hammer is? I finally got the joke. It would take a man about 600 years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. <laughs> oh God. You fight. Better that way. Oh, Jesus. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought the good fight, but prison is no fairy tale world. Oh, he was raped? Oh. Prison life consists of routine. The sisters kept at him, and that's how it went for Andy. That was his routine. Just a routine of rape. The roof of the license plate factory needs resurfacing. More than a hundred men volunteered for the job. Me and some fellows I know were among the names called. Oh, no way. Brother died a rich man. Close to a million bucks. You gonna see any of that? 35,000. Holy shit, that's great. That's like one in the sweepstakes. Dumb shit, what do you think the government's gonna do to me? Your brother died and you're just worried about getting money, you scum fuck? Maybe enough to buy a new car, and then what? I gotta pay tax on the car. Oh, he's a banker, right? Is he gonna give him advice on how to get more money or something? Do you trust your wife? You're gonna look funnier sucking my dick with no teeth. Okay. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 All of it. All of it. Every penny. He's gonna give him money advice, dude. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. IRS can't touch one cent. I don't need no smart wife killing banker to tell me where the bear shit in a buckwheat. Where the bear shit in a buckwheat? You need someone to set up the tax free gift for you. He can do it. I suppose I can set it up for you. Nearly free of charge. Nearly free of charge. <laughs> Three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. Dude, Andy's a badass, honestly, leveraging his skills and knowledge with the damn cops. Fucking right, dude. And that's how it came to pass. <laughs> it's awesome. Drinking icy cold Bohemia style beer. It's fucking sick, bro. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Gave up drinking. Dude, but my boy doesn't even drink, just took care of his boys. I think he did it just to feel normal again. Mm. That is so sick! Chess. And there's a game of kings. What? Total thought the mystery. I hate it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, this movie's really cool. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, Red. Just like everybody else here. What are you in for? This is what I wanted to know. Right on. Same as you. For real? Only guilty man in Shawshank. Who did you kill? Gonna write his name. It's the part I really like is when she does that shit with her hair. Me? <laughs> uh, it's the little things, man. It's not some bull dyke that wants to just force themselves on you. Or whatever they called him. I don't know. What do you want? Rita Hayworth. What? Really? Take a few weeks. Weeks? Well, yeah, Andy. I don't have a stuff down in front of my pants right now, I'm sorry <laughs> to say. Rita who? Is that her? Who is that? Ain't you gonna scream? Fuck you, dude. Oh, my fucking nose! Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna open my fly, and you're gonna swallow what I give you to swallow. Oh, nasty ass. Anything you put in my mouth, you're gonna lose. And I'll put all eight inches of the steel in your ear. 
Sudden serious brain injury causes the victim to bite down hard. Yeah, so your cock's in my mouth, it's gonna be gone, bitch. There's a sentence I thought I'd never say. What they did do is beat him within an inch of his life. Oh, Jesus. And to spend a month in the infirmary. Boggs spent a week in the hole. Fuck you, dude. I don't even know what to say, dude. Just fuck you, buddy. I'm honestly not even sad about it. Good. Good. Get a taste of your own medicine. You like that? No. I mean, my heart still goes out because that's like terrifying, but at the same time, I mean, what do you want? Two things never happened again after that. Good. The sisters never laid a finger on Andy again. And Boggs never walked again. Oh. Oh my gosh. Man, it could use a nice welcome back when he gets out of the infirmary. I figure we owe him that much for the beer. Man <sighs> likes to play chess. Let's get him some rocks. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's get him some rocks. He's gonna teach y'all how to play chess. Let's go. You gonna pocket the rocks? Hell yeah. Hey, would that is some soapstone. That ain't alabaster either. What are you, a fucking geologist? <laughs> What's apple? What? Oh, horse shit. <laughs> you picked up horse shit. That's awesome. Ew, dude. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ew, why are you going to smell it right away? His heart's in the right place, though. Also got a big shipment in that week. Cigarettes, playing cards with naked ladies on them. You name it. Hell yeah. Is that prison porn? Most important item, Rita Hayworth herself. Oh, is it a poster or something? Welcome back, Andy. Welcome back, buddy. Hell yeah, okay. Okay, Andy, I see you. No charge, welcome back. Dude, the brotherhood, like the bond in prison. Once you find it, I guess. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be in prison, but just the brotherhood between friends. It's it's awesome, man, I love seeing that. Heads up, toss in the cells. 123. Good move, reading the Bible in front of the warden. Uh-oh, I hope they don't find anything. I really do. Part of me thinks they do that just to fuck with them. Just to mess up all their shit and say, here you go. Clean it all up. Pleased to see you reading this. It's a good move. Any favorite passages? Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. Always like that one. I hear you good with numbers. Oh, was the warden want? Warden want something. Pretty clean. Some contraband here, but nothing getting a twist over. Can't say I approve of this. Exceptions can be made. Why are they treating him like this? They want something. Salvation lies within. Yes, sir. I actually don't hate the warden. Something about him seems actually like not bad. Maybe that's foolish of me to think that, but. Norton wanted to size Andy up. For what? You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir, not especially. Perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. What is it? What do they want? I'm so intrigued by this. <sighs> Oh shit! Hey Jake, where's Brooks? Oh, that's Jake! No way! Been reassigned to you. <sighs> I know, they told me. <laughs> this makes me happy. Have you ever had an assistant? No, 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 not much to it, really. Why me? Why now? You're afraid! Uh oh. That's in. That's the one. That helped him, the other guy with his 30 grand or whatever. This guy wants something too? Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Oh, uh, they want money help. Why don't we have a seat and talk it over? Dude, this is cool. Andy must feel real special, honestly. Guards coming to him asking for advice? So sick. And then Andy says it, Mr. Deacon, you want your sons to go to Harvard or Yale? <laughs> <laughs> I near soiled myself, I know. Soiled yourself? My boy's shitting. <laughs> Making a few friends, huh, Andy? I'm a convicted murderer who provides sound financial planning. <laughs> I might do more than that. How about expanding the library, get some new books in there? I asked the warden for funds. <laughs> Budget stretched thin as it is. Okay. Perhaps I could write the state senate and request funds directly from them. With your permission, I'll write a letter a week. They can't ignore me forever. Sure can. I'll even mail them for you. How's that? Wow. It's all he's asking for is a chance, man. Dude, this is sick. Holy shit. I'm honestly glad I haven't seen this movie up to this point. I don't think I'd appreciate it as much if I did see it earlier. The following April, Andy did tax returns for half the guards of Shawshank. <laughs> Year after that, he did them all, including the wardens. Wow. Yes, sir. Andy was a regular cottage industry. He got so busy at tax time, he was allowed a staff. <laughs> That is so sick. Makes me wish I paid more attention to tax law in law school. I fucking hated federal income tax. Red, Andy, 
It's Brooks. <laughs> oh shit! I got, I got no choice. Brooks, Brooks, look at me. Put the knife down. What the hell is going on? Is he experiencing some sort of dementia or something? It's the only way they let me stay. Oh my god. He wants to stay in prison? Is is Brooks the type of dude I was talking about that feels more comfortable in prison than out? His parole come through. Oh shit, he is one of those guys, dude. Man, it's crazy as a rat in a tin shit house is what. Oh, Haywood, that's <laughs> enough out of you. These sayings, dude. The man's been in here 50 years, Haywood. This is all he knows. In here, he's an important man. Outside, he's nothing. Mmm, that's just what we were talking about, right? It's crazy, dude. These walls are funny. First you hate them, enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. Mm. That's institutionalized. Damn. It's a much more eloquent way to put it than I said. They send you here for life. It's exactly what they take. Take your life. Hard it counts anyway. Oh, shit, dude. <coughs> Brooks. <coughs> oh, and his bird, Jake. I can't take care of you no more, Jake. No, you gotta leave Jake here? You're free. <coughs> this is symbolism for you too, man. You don't necessarily want to be free. Jake probably didn't want to be free. He's gonna fly back, isn't he? No, oh, no, well, I'm wrong. All right, well, fuck me. Thinking the bird has the capacity to be institutionalized himself. Aw, oh, dude, he's a cute old man. What is he gonna do now? Been in prison for 50 years? What do you do? What do you come back? You come back to society and reintegrate how? What are you supposed to do? You got all these new criminal connections. What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to reintegrate back into society? It doesn't make any sense. Let's, let's see what he does, man. Dear fellas. He writes them. How fast things move on the outside. <laughs> so sad. Dude, I just want to give him a hug. Parole board got me into this halfway house and a job bagging groceries at the foodway. I try to keep up. My hands hurt most of the time. Make sure you double bag like the lady says, understand? Yes, sir. Surely will. I don't think the store manager God, likes me very much. That makes me so sad. I keep thinking Jake might just show up, say hello, but he never does. I oh, God. That is so sad. I have trouble sleeping at night. I wake up scared. Can't imagine you're in the same place for 50 years, yeah. You should get me a gun and, and rob the foodway so they'd send me home. I could shoot the manager, sort of like a, a bonus. <laughs> so they could send me home, dude. Think about that. I'm tired of being afraid all the time. Wow. Imagine that, being afraid to be outside prison. In prison, you feel safe, you feel secure, you feel like you're at home. But outside in the real world, you don't feel safe. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You better be careful, man. There's no life alert here. What is going on? What are you getting? I like seeing him smile, though. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. P.S. Tell Haywood I'm sorry I put a knife to his throat. No hard feelings, boss. Dude. He should have died in here. Yep. Oh my gosh. Goddamn mess, I'll tell you that. What's all this? You tell me, fuckstick, they're all addressed to you. They got the books. Don't call him fuckstick, he helped you with all your finances, jackhole. In response to your repeated inquiries, the state has allocated the enclosed funds for your library project. Let's go! We now consider the matter closed. Please stop sending us letters. <laughs> I want all this cleared up before the warden gets back. What? Oh, I guess just like move it to the library or something? That's awesome, man. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's the moral of that story. Goddamn right. Good for you, Andy. It only took six years. Six years? No, I will write two letters a week instead of one. I'm gonna go pinch a loaf. I come back. <laughs> okay. This is all gone. Just say you're going. I don't need to know you're dropping deuces. What's going on? Wow, dude. Change can happen, man. Good things happen to those that wait. They sent records too? Boy's about to be jamming some tunes. Hey, he's providing you that ambiance music while you take a tonk. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh shit. Oh sh- oh shit, he's gonna play music for everybody. I don't know if that's the right move, dude. You got a lot of privilege. You shouldn't be- Oh! Oh my gosh, dude, no way. 
every, everybody's saying, what the hell is happening? Who's this woman singing? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. It's probably the best day, though. I like to think they were singing about something so beautiful it can't be expressed in words. Mm, wow. And for the briefest of moments, every last man at Shawshank felt free. Imagine, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Pissed the warden off something awful. That's what I was afraid of. Oh God, open the door, dude, come on. Open it up! Oh man, he doesn't give a fuck. Turn that off! He's gonna turn it up. He's gonna... <laughs> With the smile! That's awesome! Andy got two weeks in the hole for that little stunt. You, you couldn't play something good, huh? <laughs> I played a mean harmonica as a younger man. Lost interest in it, though. You need it so you don't forget. Forget. Hope. 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 Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Mmm. Does it, though? That might be the lesson. I bet you the movie's gonna end with something about hope. Hope has no room on the inside, maybe for a weak man, but a strong man. It says here that you served 30 years of life sentence. 10 years since we first started this movie, yeah, dude. Have you been rehabilitated? Oh, yes. And I can honestly say I'm a changed man. It didn't work the first time. It's not gonna work the second time, I have a feeling. What do they want to hear? 30 years. Little parole rejection present. Dude, that's so real, man. I love that. One of your competitors, I hope you don't mind. I, I wanted to be a surprise. Wow. It's very pretty, Andy. You gonna play it? Please tell me he does, man. Capture that art. Recapture it. No. What? Why? Not right now. Okay. Well, fair enough. I chose such a weird line in life because I don't trust hardly anybody, but at the same time, I want to preach that people are better than you think. Fine line to toe, right? Be careful who you trust, but give people the time of day. A new girl for your 10 year anniversary. Marilyn Monroe. Warden's not gonna like that. Definition of promiscuous. Look, you can see your, can see your genre just about. The hell's happening? Better memorize the whole damn Bible if the warden comes back, dude. And it was as good as his word. He wrote two letters a week instead of one. For what? Count of Monte Crisco. The Count of Monte Cristo. Cristo, you dumb shit. <laughs> Monte Crisco. Alexandri dumbass. <laughs> Dumas. You like it, it's about a prison break. And they had transformed a storage room smelling of rat turds and turpentine <laughs> into the best prison library in New England. Dude, that is so cool. Expanding people's minds, dude. Helping spread the word of books and music, that's awesome. Our inmates will be put to work outside these walls. What? These men can learn the value of an honest day's labor. Okay. Norton failed to mention to the press that bare minimum of expense is a fairly loose term. What does it mean? There are a hundred different ways to skim off the top. Oh. You're gonna put me out of business. I need this new highway contract. I don't get it and I go under. I just have some of this fine pie my missus made especially for you. And behind every shady deal, that was Andy keeping the books. Don't press this. Woman can't bake with shit. <laughs> Tastes like rat piss and cornstarch. What? What is happening? A river of dirty money running through this place. Oh, he's cooking the fucking books, dude. I send that money out into the real world. And when it comes back, it's clean. Back. Clean as a virgin's honey pot. Goddamn right. The honey pot. I'm gonna try that on my wife. Sarah, bring your honey pot on over here. We got business to do. I know you're good, Andy, but all that paper leaves a trail. Sure it is, but not to me. And certainly not to the warden. How? I don't get it. All right, who? Randall Stevens. Who's that? He's the guilty one, Your Honor. The man with the bank accounts. But who is he? He's a phantom. What? I conjured him out of thin air. He doesn't exist. Dude, Andy is good. Mr. Stevens has a birth certificate, driver's license, social security number. What? They're gonna wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. Shit, you're a Rembrandt. It's so cool. I had to come to prison to be a crook. Mmm. Ah! Damn. When are you gonna let Andy start teaching you treads? Uh, I can't even speak. Red, when are you gonna let Andy start teaching you chess? Also built that library and help a dozen guys get their high school diploma. How do you think the warden lets me do all that? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, the new fish coming in, huh? They're gonna place their bets? Who sideburns? Tommy Williams came to Shawshank in 1965. Mr. Rock and Roll, cocky as hell. We liked him immediately. But if I drop this fucking thing, you got me on destruction of property, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been in and out since I was 13. Boy's proud of that. Perhaps it's time you tried a new profession. You don't seem to be a very good thief. What are you in for? Murder. Lawyer, fuck me. <laughs> 
he's learned the tricks of the trade. Lawyer fucked me. <laughs> Turned out Tommy had himself a young wife and a new baby girl. Oh, and you're still gonna be in here, dude? Having Morgan Freeman do the voiceover, I mean, is the obvious choice, but it's fantastic. You maybe trying for my high school equivalency. Yeah. Don't waste time on losers, Tommy. Damn, straight up. I ain't no goddamn loser. If we do this, we do it all the way. Don't read so good. Hmm. You don't read so well. We'll get to that. Yeah, we will. Grammar, I mean, that that's way down the line. So Andy took Tommy under his wing. Tommy took to it pretty well, too. Prison time is slow time, so you do what you can to keep going. Mm. Andy built a library. Now he needed a new project. Needed to teach people. Tommy was the new project, got it. Who's the new girl? It was lovely Raquel. Okay, I don't know who she is, but okay. Wasted a little fucking year of my time with this bullshit. <laughs> points right there there's your goddamn score fuck it okay dude's got a bit of an anger issue i guess that could have been a safe assumption but all right did he really score a two i was in thomaston on a two to three stretch about six months left to go get a new cellmate in two that's the other thing he never shut up gotta move in silence man nope women he fucked nope the people he killed he knows the guy that killed his wife i say to him i say yeah elmo who'd you kill I killed him. I mean, this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> That's Andy's Andy's wife. Golf pro, but she married some other guy, some hotshot banker. Oh my god! <laughs> and he's the one they pinned it on. I knew he didn't fucking do it. What a fucking scum piece of shit, dude. Fuck that guy. Oh my gosh. I have to say, that's the most amazing story I ever heard. So he's telling the truth. With Tommy's testimony, I can get a new trial. They'd have his last known address, names of relatives. Warden, you gotta let him try, man. How can you be so obtuse? What did you call me? Obtuse? Is it deliberate? You want to indulge this fantasy, that's your business. Don't make it mine. You just want your money to be clean, Warden. Oh! Mention what goes on in here. I'd be just as indictable as you for laundering that money. Don't you ever mention money to me again, you sorry son of a bitch! Solitary, a month! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me, dude? It's my life, don't you understand? It's my life! Get him out! Get him out! Fuck you, Warden! Are you saying that Andy is innocent? The real innocent? That well, looks that way. How long has he been here now? 10 years. 19 years? 19 years? Dude, time in this movie goes by so quick. I didn't even, I don't even know what's happening. Board of Education. You're gonna open it, you're gonna stand there with your thumb up your butt. <laughs> Give him the damn letter, I wanna see what's inside. You got it? Well, shit. Oh, did he get it or no? Kid passed, C plus average. Wow. Dude, that's awesome. That's probably the spark that it's gonna take to keep Andy going, man. A month in solitary? That's gotta, yep, where's the smirk? Awesome. Awesome. Warden? Tommy? This is super sketchy, bro. Super sketch. We got a situation here. You're talking about Andy? What is happening? I need your help, son. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury? Just give me that chance. Oh, wow. That's what I thought. I don't, I get a weird feeling. I don't know if the warden's legit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you're a man of god my ass, warden. Dude, what in the fuck? His only chance to get out? I'm sure by now you've heard a terrible thing. Fuck you, warden. Man that young, trying to escape. My ass. We just have to put it behind us. I'm done. Everything stops. Get someone else to run your skills. Nothing stops. Jesus. Pull you out of that one bunk, Hilton. Cast you down with the sodomites. You think you've been fucked by a train? Oh my god, you nasty bitch. That was a little book barbecue in the yard. They dance around it like wild engines. What? Weird ass thing to say. Fuck you, dude. My drift. Catch these nuts. Or am I being obtuse? Both things can be true. Say I do catch your drift, you're being an obtuse piece of shit. Give him another month to think about it. Oh my god, are you joking me? Two months in solitary? That's enough to make any normal man go insane. Much less someone who's been there for 19 years. Oh my god, dude, what do you do? What do you do? <sighs> my wife used to say I'm a hard man to know. God, I loved her. I didn't know how to show it. That's what I killed her, Red. He's blaming himself, thinks it's his fault that she had to go cheat because he couldn't show her love. You think you'll ever get out of here? Yeah. Hey, where I'd go. To Watanil. Where? What? Do what in hell? 
Is there a lot to know? A little place on the Pacific Ocean. See, it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. Wow. A warm place with no memory. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. It's a cool vision. Say what to nail. A place like that, I could use a man that knows how to get things. <sighs> Is it the collective dream now? I don't think I could make it on the outside, Andy. I'm an institutional man now. I cannot imagine being in somewhere doing 20 years in prison for two murders you didn't commit. I think you ought to be doing this to yourself, Andy. This is a shitty pipe dream. I mean, Mexico is way to hell down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Get busy living, you get busy dying. Wow. It's like pick your busy, right? Andy. It's gonna be busy either way. It's a big hayfield up near Buxton. You know where Buxton is? The big oak tree at the north end. Promise me, Red. Burn it. If you ever get out. Find that spot. Face of that wall, you'll find a black volcanic glass. Something buried under it I want you to have. What? I thought I was gonna say burn the whole thing. There might not be anything there. Maybe Andy's just creating hope for Red. I'm telling you, the guy's he's talking funny. I'm really worried about him. He asked me for a length of rope. Oh my god. Jesus, hey Wood. How was I supposed to know? And he'd never do that. What? I, I, don't I don't know. know. Yeah, right? I don't know either. Every man has his breaking point. Two months in solitary, dude. We split. Want to get home. And shine my shoes. I want them looking like mirrors. So you can see your vain ass looking self? Good having you back, Andy. Place wasn't the same without you. Fuck you, dude. Wasted his only chance of getting out here. Junior bacon cheeseburger looking motherfucker. You take my shoes, boy. I want them looking like mirrors. Mirror that! Well, he's, he made it two months in solitary. What does he have? Do not tell me you're gonna kill yourself, dude. Do not tell me that. I don't want to see that. He's got so much potential, bro. That was the longest night of my life. She didn't know if Andy was gonna kill himself, or...? Is he alive, dude? Blue Frame! Get your ass out of here, boy. You hold up the show. Don't make me come down there. I'll thump your skull for you. Dude, what is happening? He's gonna be fucking dead, isn't he? Oh my holy god. What? What is happening? What? Those are Dufresne shoes. Did he escape? What do you mean he just wasn't here? He was in his cell and lights out. What happened? I am so confused, dude. I don't know what the hell is going on. I have no idea. Man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. Oh, okay. All right. These sayings, bro. What say there, fuzzy britches? <laughs> is there a fucking hole in the wall, dude? Did he escape with the goddamn rock hammer thing? Oh, <gasps> he did, didn't he? He escaped with the fucking rock hammer thing. He's been there for 20 years. <laughs> Dude! Holy shit, you see the goosebumps? Andy Dufresne escaped from Shawshank Prison. Wow! All they found of him was a muddy set of prison clothes and an, and an old, old rock, rock hammer. hammer. <laughs> when did he do it? And how did nobody hear him? That's all it takes, really. Pressure and time. Lord knows he had a lot of those things going on. That and a big goddamn poster. <laughs> All you gotta do is maintain a little bit of hope. And his favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. A handful at a time. Oh, Dude, this is unreal. Oh, oh my god. He took the actual books, bro. Is he gonna fucking turn the warden in or something? Imagine the nerves, though. You already did two months in solitary. Imagine if they had caught him. Oh, the, use the rope to keep his belongings, dude, so he can climb and you has both of his hands free. Dude, he is so intelligent. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Ew, dude, I would be fucking vomiting too, bro. Five football That's fields the of shit. Of five football fields. Exactly right. He'd probably be so sick from all that shit, but freedom probably never felt so good. Oh my gosh, I got such huge chills, bro. I can't imagine that feeling. Wow. A man nobody ever laid eyes on before strolled into the main national bank. He used on the paper. Yep. Can I help you? He used he had all the proper items. <gasps> driver's license, birth certificate, social security card. He took all the money. 
He took all the fucking money, bro. <laughs> Would you add this to your outgoing mail? I'd be happy to. Oh my God. All told, he blew town with better than $370,000 of Warden Norton's money. And that's not even skimming the- that's not even worth one year. Fuck you, Warden. Is the- oh my god, is the Warden gonna be thrown in prison? I hope you are. Yup. Come on. Come on. Dear Warden, you were right. Salvation lay within. <laughs> what? Yo! It's rock hammer in the Bible? You have the right to remain silent. But I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. Yeah, little bitch. Tough guy in the uniform. Oh, you're a little pussy. Take the easy way out. I get. I don't know how I feel about that statement I just said, but... Norton! Oh, he's gonna... Is he gonna shoot himself or those people? Yourself, Norton. Norton, what are you doing, you weird-ass man? Oh, no, dude. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! When I picture him heading south in his own car with the top down, it always makes me laugh. Oh my god, dude. Andy Dufresne. Andy Dufresne. Headed for the Pacific. I could use a couple of beers. <laughs> and he got it. And he got it! <laughs> Please tell me he's gonna get accepted for parole. If I'll say you served 40 years of a life sentence, you feel you've been rehabilitated? No, sir. As not a day goes by, I don't feel regret. I look back on the way I was then. Mm. Stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. That kid's long gone. This old man is all that's left. Rehabilitated. It's just a bullshit word. I don't give a shit. I mean, he gave them what they wanted to hear for years and years. Decades, man. Didn't work. Might as well speak your mind freely. <laughs> wow. The most amount of chills I've ever gotten from a movie, dude. You gotta go see what the where that rock is, man. And I predict that there's not gonna be anything there. And I predict that Andy's gonna have given him hope. Wow. Same job, dude. Someone gonna tell you to double bag it up too? There's a harsh truth to face. No way I'm gonna make it on the outside. All I do anymore is think of ways to break my parole. Mm. So maybe they'd send me back. Same exact thing that he said, that Brooke Only said. Only one thing stops me. A promise I made to Andy. Without that promise, I don't think that Red would have his life, realistically. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm getting, I get, I can't even speak. I'm getting nervous, man. It's gonna be the chess pieces. <laughs> Dear Red, if you're reading this, you've gotten out. I could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. I'll keep an eye out for you, and the chessboard ready. I will be hoping that this letter finds you, your friend, Andy. Wow. I got goosebumps again! There wasn't anything buried whenever Andy told him about that. Andy had enough hope to get out of prison. Andy had enough hope to go find that place and put that letter there. Andy had enough hope that Red was gonna get out. And not only that, Andy had enough hope that Red was gonna find it. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. Wow. So was Red. For the second time in my life, I'm guilty of committing a crime. A role violation. I cannot believe this. I hope I can make it across the border. I, I hope. hope to see my friend I shake hope. his hand. No way. Wow. Dude, unbelievable movie. Oh my God, literally one of the best movies I've seen. I feel like all these movies that I'm watching with you guys, I'm saying that, it's literally so, so good. It's one of those movies that teaches you life lessons, man. Teaches you about hope, teaches you that you don't have it so bad, right? It allows you to look at the little things that you do have. It just serves as a constant reminder that to be hopeful, that this world is more beautiful than what we give it credit for, that the relationships that we have with people, the friendships, the love, the hope. Don't lose sight of the hope whenever you are at your darkest times. Don't lose sight of that hope. Whenever you have just gotten divorced or there's been a death in your family or you learn that you have an illness, you can overcome that. There's hope, have hope, never lose that. And for a movie 
that's two hours and 20 minutes to teach you a valuable life lesson that can save your life for a lot of people. I mean, that's just invaluable, man. I can't believe that. Such a beautiful movie. Unbelievably well done. The writing of this movie was great. Pacing was fantastic. And overall, dude, it was it's just incredible, man. You, it gives you a feeling that you can't describe. You have to watch this, man. I can't believe I'm 28 years old and I'm seeing Sha Shawshank Redemption for the first time. It gives you that inexplicable feeling that you, all you can do is experience that, man. There's no amount of words that I can adequately formulate into a sentence to describe how I feel about this and, just, and to actually say what this movie means. <sighs> Instantly one of my favorite movies, dude. They don't make them like that anymore. They really don't. <sighs> I want to say thank you guys for voting this in on the Patreon. Guys, if you want to say on what we react to next that's a non-Marvel movie, link will be at the top of the description. Guys, keep giving me bangers like this, and I will keep watching them. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in to today's reaction. Thank you for watching this movie with me, and more so than anything, I want you to remember that you are loved. You are so powerful. You have so much potential on this planet, and don't lose sight of hope. I feel like you need to hear that today. Do not lose hope. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace!